What's up guys, John Conley here from UncleJohnSoap.com. It's an angry kind of evening. It's been misting and raining for the last couple of days, which normally wouldn't bother me, but it affects my business in the fall. And, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, a little adult beverage there and an Uncle John's lowball. Cheers. Yep. Been a comedy of errors trying to get a uh, Facebook Live video up. Yeah, it's not happening. This uh, piece of crap phone, just nothing but lines for the people watching. They, the sound's great. That's awesome, you know, shaving for the blind. So, anyway, here I am. I'm going to record it as a video anyway because, damn it, I was going to do a video tonight. It's going to happen one way or the other. So, and then I'm downstairs in the downstairs bathroom, daycare land, of course. And we have a 1920s wall hung sink here with no stopper. No! I'm trying to fill the sink so I can shave and there's no way to stop the water from going down the drain. And I don't want the water running through a whole video, so I had to go steal a kid's Super Bowl. Oh yeah! Plug the drain. Hopefully it comes back. But anyway. Yeah, so it's been weird. But I'm going to do a head shave one way or the other. Got this cool little plastic salsa bowl from Wally World a couple weeks ago, and uh, works pretty good. It could use some uh, some rougher texture in it, but for what I'm doing, I'm basically just loading the brush and starting the lather. So, can you see it? Using my uh, clear resin handle, uh, tuxedo fan style knot, which. Uh, Milton Shaves calls this a uh, quarter moon. I had never heard it until I got it from him, but it works for me, whatever it is. And then tonight we're lathering up Midnight Storm soap I made for uh, one of the soaps I made for the South Florida Wet Shavers meetup earlier this past year. And we'll be finishing off with some British, British Sterling. And uh, trying a new razor tonight. Nice old Ever Ready. Love that knurled handle. Not sure if it's original or not. Uh, maybe one of you guys knows more about razors than I do. Got a bunch of uh, Persona gem blades. Got about 400 of them actually. So yeah, let's give it a shot. See what happens. Hopefully the battery holds out. Who knows? The way my luck's going, probably not. Alright, flip the head. Now let's lather up and see if we can make something happen. Maybe you guys will get to see a, a bleeder or two. Oh, well, that's another thing. I'm getting ready to shave my head and find this big old spot here where I'm breaking out under my hat. Fabulous. So, it is what it is, you know? You gotta laugh. I gotta laugh or I'll start breaking shit. <laughs> so, of course, I started this lather about a half hour ago, loading up, and it's a little thin, but I think it'll be alright. I kind of like it a little thin and slick. So, yeah, it's good all over the shirt collar. Shaving is not a neat sport for me. That's all right. So I'm in the bathroom so I can clean it up easy. Hopefully y'all can see all right. Sorry about the glare. Being in a different room, different lighting. See how it goes. I've never used this particular style. I've used a uh, treat razor and the identical like cousin, the gem, the same head, same handle. But um, this one seems like the, the bevel's just a little bit different. And there's my first nick. All right. Now it's because I kind of put a little bit much pressure up there. But so far, blade feels good. Razor feels weird. It's short, it's heavy. The balance is kind of awkward, but we're going to run with it. It's 
funny, this style of razor definitely gives you some feedback, even though it's a stiffer blade than a double edge. Or maybe that's why it gives you feedback, who knows. So yeah, other than tonight's little comedy of errors, things have been going alright. The shop's doing well, the website's doing well, so I can't complain too much. You know, if I can pay my rent, keep a running vehicle, I'm a happy guy. You know, very basic. No frills. And I just cut myself again. I'm snagging myself right there. And I'm not even putting any pressure on it. That's so weird. <laughs> I'm going with a very, very light touch compared to the other single edge that I've been using. Because I'm, I'm not sure what to expect. Like, like right there. There must be way more blade exposure. And again, if one of you guys knows more about these uh, Everettis than me, please chime in and let me know. I could just be losing my mind. It's entirely possible. Sometimes it helps to close my eyes so I can concentrate on what I'm doing on the back of my head where I can't see. But, hopefully everybody else's week went well. Hopefully your weekend goes well. For me, in Berlin where our shop is, tomorrow is our uh, Oktoberfest. Normally a very big day for the town, for the stores, for us, and uh, this week, or this year, don't think it's going to happen. It's supposed to be pretty soggy forecast for tomorrow, so, yeah, is what it is. Let's see how it feels. Actually, it doesn't feel bad other than my little, other than my little mistakes. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna push my luck tonight. You know, sometimes you just gotta know when to give it up <laughs> before you really hurt yourself. But overall, actually, for a single pass, that's not bad. But I'm not going to push my luck. Yep. Yeah. A couple nicks. Finish off with some uh, mm -hmm. British Sterling. Feel the burn. Got a nice little nick on the front here. Hopefully that will go away quickly. Or heal up quickly. That's it. Very basic shave tonight guys. Like I said, I was just determined I was going to do a video no matter what. So, hope you're enjoying your Friday night. Be safe this weekend if you're going out with your friends or whatever. And, uh, Say a prayer for this phone because it may just go down to 
sewer drain here in a few minutes. Good night, guys.